to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koye. If you are a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you. And uh, if you've never seen my face before, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I truly appreciate you. Yes, you had that right. Hygiene tips that are going to earn you respect from your peers, from your colleagues, from your friends, from your family, and from everybody within your surroundings. So let's just get into the 10 hygiene tips. Hy hygiene is something that nowadays people don't really talk about, but I feel like it's still a part of our culture, it's still a part of our life, it's still a part of us being healthy. Here so here are the hygiene tips that are going to earn you respect, as I've said, from your family, your colleagues, your friends, your classmates, and everybody else that's in the background. My door, this room doesn't have a door. I'm so sorry about that. But the first hygiene tip that I'm going to give you is that you should shower every day. I know that showering um, varies between cultures, areas, regions, maybe people in a very hot place may be showering up to three times a day and those ones in a cold place may be showering once a week <laughs> or once after every two weeks, I don't know however, I feel that one shower at least once a day is good enough to earn you respect from your colleagues because you're not going to be smelly and you're not going to be sweaty um, and you know that sweat actually smells when there's build up of bacteria and not because it's just been produced so I feel that showering at least once a day is the first hygiene tip that you need in order to earn respect from your peers, from your colleagues, from your friends, from your classmates, even from your students if you are a teacher the second hygiene tip that I'm going to give you is that you should change your undergarments every single day Yes, I know that it goes without saying. Some people might be like, that's common knowledge. But we know for a fact that there's a certain sex, or men, let's say, rarely change their undergarments every single day. However, I feel that in order for you to earn respect from your peers and from your colleagues, you have to change your undergarments every single day because they're going to smell, they're going to be. You don't want to like hook up with somebody and your undergarments are unhygienic. It's terrible so guys or you can even faint you can even anything can happen and you they have to check you can rush to the emergency or just even a good thing can happen you can find a new girlfriend a new boyfriend and your undergarments are not hygienic so please even for your own health you have to change your undergarments every single day i know it looks like it's common knowledge but it really is not common knowledge so guys that's the second hygiene tip I'm going to Number three, the third hygiene tip I'm going to give you is that, you know I have a notebook, I'm very old school, is that you should wear clean clothes. Yes, I know you might also think, well, that's common knowledge. Common knowledge is not very common. That's a thing that my father always says. And yeah, common knowledge is not very common. And some people actually repeat clothes even for a month. I've even seen people around me repeating clothes literally for a full month like monday tuesday wednesday and it's not because they cannot afford but their hygiene is just poor so if you want to earn respect from your peers and your friends and your everything wear clean clothes and clean clothes includes clean coats clean sweaters i know some people who change at the workplace they might be changing their clothes every day but they're wearing the same sweater month in month out like you can literally tell like this sweater or this coat is never washed guys especially in africa we have that problem we have that problem wear clean clothes i know most people it's not even about affording it's just about hygiene like i don't know please guys wear clean clothes that is where you earn your respect from your peers your colleagues and your friends the fourth hygiene tip that I'm going to give you is that you should change your socks every day. Especially if you're a man, because men are the ones who tend to wear shoes every day with socks inside. And even if you're a lady, maybe you're into boots and that kind of thing, you have to change your socks every day. The reason I mentioned socks and undergarments is because these are the places where there is a lot of buildup of bacteria. So make sure that you yeah. change your socks every day. Sorry about that, guys. 
But the main reason that I'm mentioning socks and undergarments that you have to change, specifically these two items, I separated them. It's because both of them are hidden and both of them have a, a lot of buildup of bacteria where they are located. So, and a lot of people will not change them because they are hidden. But because they have a lot of buildup of bacteria, you can end up with bringing yourself with your own infections. You can get foot rot, you can get so many things just because you do not change your socks regularly. Or, and this is especially true if you also do not shower regularly. So make sure that after you've showered, you change your socks. Please, especially African men, men. If, if I don't know if there's any African man watching this, if you're an African man and you're watching this video, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please change your socks every day. It's healthy and it's going to earn you respect from your peers. After all, when you sit down, your pants are going to go up and people are going to notice those that you have a smart suit, that you have nice shoes, but you wear the same pair of socks for a full week. And it's definitely going to get holes in it also and definitely people are also going to see the holes so make sure that you change your socks daily please guys change your socks daily that is the fourth tip number five this should have followed um you should wear clean clothes but um i had to mention wearing clean socks also uh so the tip number five hygiene tip yes these are hygiene tips that I'm going to give you that is going to earn respect from your peers, your colleagues, your friends, your family, your neighbors, and everybody around you, is that you're supposed to iron your clothes. Yes. I know it also comes as common knowledge, but as I said, common knowledge is not very common. Yes, iron your clothes. Please definitely, as, if, you're, if you wear clean clothes and your clothes are all wrinkled, they look like they pass through a cow's mouth. Definitely, I, you cannot get respect from me as a person and I believe that you will not even get respect from anybody Not even your colleagues or your classmates if you're in school So I feel that ironing clothes is something that we take for granted and especially again in Africa I, I appreciate there are a lot of metrosexual men that have come up the ones in the cities what but still we still have a problem People are still not ironing their clothes. People are not ironing their shirts. They're not ironing their trousers They're just walking out of the house and believe you me, to me especially, ironed, and ironed clothes are an ISO to me and they really affect me. Like I feel like asking you like why didn't you iron your clothes? Like there's even charcoal iron boxes still in Africa. Like seriously, you can't tell me that you there was no electricity or there was no power. So guys, make sure that you iron your clothes. This is going to earn you respect and this is going to earn you. Yeah. So tip number six hygiene tip number six is that you should groom your hair yes well groomed hair i know this is a wig i'm a fan of wigs and of course it looks super synthetic however we are not here to talk about wigs we are here to talk about groomed hair groomed hair means it's clean which means it's frequently washed depending on your hair type after all because like us in africa we cannot wash our hair every day that is going to destroy our hair and it's going to dry out our hair so badly and I know some of you may think like, why don't you wash every day? It doesn't have as much oil as maybe Asian or European hair has. It doesn't have that much oil produced. We don't produce that much sebum, so it doesn't really get that greasy. So what matters is that your hair should be clean according to your frequency. In, in short, for example, African hair, you can wash it like once a week. That's good enough. And some people even go to once every two weeks. But more than that, I feel that you should not seriously know. And I, and I think like maybe Caucasian hair, I'm not sure. They, but I believe that they wash maybe every day. Maybe if you can, you're Caucasian, you can tell me how frequently you wash your hair. But in short, your hair is supposed to be clean. It's supposed to be tidy. I've not said slick your hair into, if you're an African, that you go and put a palm on your hair. No, just tidy that like you've put in some effort that is going to earn you respect you just don't get out of bed put it in a bath like or not even put it in a bath at all just get out of bed wash your face and claim that yo you're an african so our wash and go is okay and that wash and go the wash itself was done one week ago okay get that point the wash was done one week ago but you're claiming that you're in a wash and go I wash and go like one week later. So you've just been rolling out of bed on Monday, 
you washed your hair on Sunday. On Monday, you roll out of bed, you're like, wash and go. Tuesday, wash and go. Wednesday, wash and go. And you've not washed. You washed on Sunday. So that is not grooming. That is negligence, honestly. So make sure that your hair is well groomed and that is going to earn you respect from your peers, your colleagues, your classmates, your friends, your neighbors, and even your enemies. Yes, even your enemies. These hygiene tips are going to earn you respect from your enemies. They'll even fear, like, coming near you. The seventh tip that I'm going to give you, the seventh hygiene tip that I'm going to give you is that you should wear clean shoes. Yes, make sure that your shoes are clean. Even if you live in an area that is muddy, clean your shoes every single day. That is going to earn you respect. Even if you wear a $1,000 suit, even if you wear a $1,000 suit, my friend, and your shoes are filthy, even if the shoes themselves costed you $500, but they are filthy, you're not going to get any respect. So make sure that you clean your shoes every single day before you go to work or before you go to class or maybe before. I know there's a weird trend that has come up called like dirty sneakers or something of the sort. But I just believe this trend came about because people were buying white sneakers and they, they, couldn't, they, like, they couldn't keep up with cleaning them. And so they created a trend called the dirty sneaker trend. The world is weird, my friends. The world is weird. But basically, you have to have clean shoes. Doesn't matter where you're going. If you want to earn respect, that is, unless you don't want respect. I mean, there are some people who don't want respect. Some people just want to be underwater. But if you want to command attention and earn respect, make sure that you clean your shoes. In fact, these hygiene tips, you can even use them as tips for like attending an interview or something of the sort. They are really going to help you and they are really going to boost you. Sorry guys, but as I was editing this video, I realized that I skipped tip number eight, which is actually brushing your teeth. So make sure that you brush your teeth. Nobody wants to be near anybody whose breath is not fresh or who has pieces of uh, things in their mouth. Make sure that you practice your oral hygiene. And if you have any problem with bad breath or anything of the sort that is not related to uh, oral hygiene, make sure that you consult a doctor and definitely you're going to gain respect. Number nine, we are almost there guys. By the time you reach the end of this video, I can assure you that the next time you meet somebody and you've practiced all these things, they are going to respect you. That's a fact. They are going to respect you and you're going to command attention. So the, this tip that I'm going to give you, tip number nine, is to do with jewelry. Those people who wear jewelry. If you wear jewelry like bracelets, if you wear jewelry like earrings, chokers, necklaces, studs or whatever, if you, if you have piercings, make sure that these items are also clean. Make sure that your jewelry is polished and clean. If you wear fake jewelry, make sure that once it changes color, it's thrown away. Don't stick onto fake jewelry, especially because it's really fake, fake metals are really cheap. The ones that oxidize, they're really cheap. I don't see why you should hold on to it if it has changed color. If it's turned green, if it's turned red, if it's turned all manner of things in between, make sure that you throw it away. That's not going to earn you any respect. You might think that you're looking good wearing those earrings just because you saw them when they were new. The people you're meeting didn't see those earrings when they were new. So what they are just going to see is that they're just going to see earrings that are faded, like, they're not going to see the new earrings in your mentality, no, or in the back of your head, no. They're only going to see the faded earrings that you wore. So they'll have a really bad, there's no point. In fact, I think it's better to go without jewelry than to wear fake or faded jewelry. Like fake is okay, but if it's faded already, I'd rather you even stay without the jewelry because it's not going to make you look good at all. So make sure that you throw away any green, red, weird colored jewelry that has changed color, especially the metal ones. And uh, make sure that you polish frequently the ones that require polishing. So that is the hygiene tip that I'm going to give you, tip number nine. That is going to earn you respect from your peers, I'm telling you. If you always have shiny, nice looking jewelry, you're going to get refused. Last but not least guys, this is not a hygiene tip, but it's just a tip to make you look more respectful and more presentable and yeah, so in the eyes of the public and your friends and in general. So make sure that you smell good, like use cologne. If you're the kind of person who sweats too much, you can use Dio or antiperspirant. If you're the kind of person who doesn't sweat too much, you don't have to use it because we know that these things also have side effects. But put an effort to smell good. like. 
If you know that you have a problem with sweating and you smell by the end of the day, make sure you counter that with whatever you can. Yeah, and make sure that you smell good. That is going to earn your attention because people tend to smell people fast before they even look at them. If you enter smelling sweat, nobody, even if you're wearing the most expensive suit on the planet, people will already have a certain mental image about you. So, especially African men, please, if you're watching this, make sure that you smell good because it plays a very important role in how people are going to perceive you, how people are going to see you, how people are going to view you and the mental image they'll have and the image they'll always have of you because as the saying goes, once somebody has a certain mental image about you, it's very difficult to turn that mental image. Even if, if today you come sweaty and all that, it, they'll always remember the negative one and tomorrow you come very smart, they'll still remember the negative one. So make sure that you're presentable, make sure that you're hygienic, make sure that you're in good health. So guys, I hope that these 10 hygiene tips that are going to help you and respect from your peers and friends have helped somebody. Personally, they've helped me in my life. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to see you in my next video. I normally post content three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at stipulated times, not randomly. Like on Monday, it's at 8 p.m. No, I'm going to link it there. The timings I'm going to link up here. I normally post at specific times. So make sure that you watch my videos. They're always scheduled so you'll never miss a video. And make sure that you turn on the bell notification. And also you can write in the comment section whether you like this video or you did it. Or anything of the sort. Just make sure that you comment down below. Can you let me know a video idea or what you'd like to see me do in this channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. I truly appreciate you wherever you are. Have a lovely day, have a lovely night, have a lovely evening, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.